Okay, we are back. Everything is finally finished rendering. Um, uh, let me just go through what I've got. So, let me start from the main one. So, this is our main render. Uh, this is where we left on uh, before I hit render. Um, so, this is going to be like our main version, I suppose. Uh, I've then got a version which is loaded with a load of condensation. Um, just so I can, I'm hoping that I can kind of like just have this layer just for the condensation and kind of pick and pull where I want where I want it. I've then rendered out a black version so that we can use the reflects the uh, reflections from this and input that into the glass, I'm hoping. And then I've rendered out a version which has a brighter cap and also these really nice core sticks at the bottom here. Um, so hopefully we can comp all these together and we'll get like a very nice result. So uh, I'm going to create a new folder which is going to be layered. And let's start with this one. So let's open it up. <clears throat> okay, so... Let's start going, f let's save this out. Let's save into here. I'm going to call this beer bottle uh, layered. Right, so let's have a look. So we, that doesn't give us anything. Actually, let's turn all this off. Let's turn all this off. And first of all, let's extract the different masks. So, so this is the wall. This is the bottle, and what I'm doing here is basically uh, liquid isn't giving me anything. I'm pressing Command A, Command C, creating a new channel and pasting it in there. And we can use these for like layer masks later on. Uh, so this is the cap. Bubbles isn't giving me anything. Uh, core six doesn't give me anything on that one. We can keep the shadows for that one. So this is shadows now. Uh, Volumetrics, that's not giving me anything. Translucency, pfft, yeah, we don't need that. Delete that. Cool, so we got uh, refract, which is like all our, pretty much just our liquid, which is nice. Um, then we've got the reflections. I'm going to copy that into a channels as well. Uh, I, I need to keep that there as well. Uh, indirect. I don't think I really need that. It's just going to be for a background. Yeah, um, uh, I'll keep it for the cap just in case. Uh, what did I say this was? Indirect, yeah. Uh, I can delete that. Emissions, nothing. And then we got direct, and then we got the original. Okay, so let's start with this then. Um, um, let's open up the other files. So let's open up the condensation one and see if we're able to pull out. Let's pull out these to let's duplicate these so and I'll put these in a folder and this is the condensation uh, those aren't doing anything or bold bubbles so this is pretty important so we go into the channels, paste this in, bubbles. Okay. Cost it. Uh, let's, let's hide all this for stars. So that's not giving me anything. Or shadow's giving me. That's probably quite handy for. 
for the cap. Um, what was the shadows? Shadows Conden. And actually, it's probably worth me. I should probably grab the. Uh, God, that's the wrong one. Uh, I probably want to grab the alpha for the bottle because it's going to be slightly different. Because I've got. Um, I've got the. Really, what am I on about? Condensation is creating little bumps in it. That's what I'm trying to say. And then the one for the wall. Which is good for just getting the solid. Cool. Don't think I need anything else. Cap's gonna be the same. Shadows is gonna be the same. Translucency refraction I will need that one. Uh, actually. Oh, don't delete. So we duplicate that. There we go. Put that in there. And then I'm going to want the reflection. For that. Thank you. Indirect doesn't give me anything really. Cool. Alright, so we can cancel that, get rid of that one, save this just in case, alright, and we've got the reflections one, which hopefully is going to work, now, okay, reflections, Perfect, look at that. That is literally just what I wanted. Reflections. Let's see what else, anything else I can pull from this? Don't think so. There's some nice the rim lights I could probably do with those. Room light. Room light. Thank you. And then the other room light. <laughs> room light. Cool. Sweet. That's all I wanted from that one. And then the final one's the core sticks, which I'm hoping is actually rendered out the core sticks. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Thank you. I'll put that in here. Oh, actually, um, yeah, I will paste it in there. But I'll also just copy the actual thing into here. This in a caustics group. Uh, 
shadows might be worth me taking those. Shadows. Delete all those. Oh, there we go. Um, I don't really need that. What's the sky doing for me? Not much. Oh, I'll take the refractions and the reflections from this one. They'll be handy. Just to help kind of paint some more. Oh, why does it keep doing this? And then what's this reflection? It's quite good actually. Right, and then I think we're pretty cushy on everything. Okay, let's move them all together. So we got Missing her reflections from the main one. There we go. So that's the. Alright, so let's put these in order. So, got the normal, the bubbles, the one with the surface imperfections, and just one with a. What did I put on that one? Oh, a HDRI. Cool. Yeah, rim lights. What was that? Oh, I had to do that. That was the original reflection. I did have it. Um, okay. Shadows Condon, and then this is Shadows Caustics. I'm going to move all these below the masks. So that's the normal shadows. Shadow caustics and shadows condensation. Reflection, 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 rim light, core sticks at the bottom. I'll move that up to the end of there. Okay, so hopefully we've got everything that we need in order to piece all this together. Um, I'm just thinking though, I could do with the cap from this one, but I don't know if that's going to be down to the lighting. So I wonder if it's worth hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We'll leave it for now. Okay, cool. Let's start figuring out how we can do this then. So, so this is all lighting. Oh, delete that. And 
invites. Let's put all these in here. Okay. All right, so we start with our direct. Uh, we're basically going to, I think I'm going to rebuild this. So, um, Let's think how I'm going to do this. Let's create a new layer. And let's get. Let's just put. Um, let's get a solid. Fill it with that. And then create a new layer. This can just be like a mid gray or something. And let's get the bottle which has the bubbles on, but let's actually get this one because it's the wall. And let's fill that with black. So this is the bottle. Okay. So let's call this bottle. Then we need the refraction. And actually, uh, let's get the cap and actually take that away. From oh, let's just fill it. Oh, why has it done that then? Cool. So that's now literally just the ball. Okay. So let's change that to black and then drag these down here. So we've got the refractions and the reflections. And I don't actually want that reflection there. So I'm going to paint that out. <coughs> cool. Let's grab the fractions from the condensation, that's actually the right one we want. And let's put that as the group mask, so I don't have to mask everything out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's... Oh, okay, I know what to do for this one. Get the bubbles. There we go. That looks fair. Right, so I've been able to paint in. Okay, so we've got the main refraction layer, the refraction with the condensation. So, condensation. Uh, reflections for those. But then we also need the reflections for the condensation, so I'll create a separate layer for that. So that is this one. Oh. Um. Command C, Command V. I don't think it makes much of a difference, apart from the fact 
the bubbles condensation go over that. I'm tempted to get rid of these bubbles on the outside. Yeah, I might do it. So we'll use the original bottle, which is um, that one. There we go. Cool. And I'm going to mask out that right hand side. Don't need that. <coughs> cool. Alright, so we've got the bottle. Uh, let's create a new folder called this cap. Create a solid. Make that. Uh, make that black as well, actually. And let's find the cap. Cool, so we got that. And let's just try find. So the this is quite. Uh, what am I saying? Take these reflections. Post it in here. Actually, do that, and then I can delete all these layer masks. There we go. So use the direct for the cap. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had a better one, better reflection for the cap. This one was quite good. Nearly a dodge add. Uh, we can just dim this down to like 50%. 30, 20, 10, 20, 30, 50? Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Right, cool. Um... Or do we want it on black? Nah, let's do it white for now. Okay, cool. Let's ignore the core sticks, they're not really important right now. So, let's just refer this back to the original. Cool. It's looking good. Alright, original. Right, so we've managed to rebuild that. Uh, BG, what's this doing? Nothing now. Uh, I might put this into the bottle, the refraction. Like it's like a, yeah, that's just like a base coat, I suppose. Because. Cool. All right. Now then, what I said I wanted to do was, uh, what's that reflection for? Okay. Is paint some black back into this. So if we find our reference images, 
which I think like this, something like this. Or even if we go to our reference, they go black at the bottom. So I'm hoping it's going to be as simple as just literally painting, painting over this with some black, kind of following that curve there. And do they keep light at the bottom? No, they kind of just say. Hmm. You can tell it's just fake, can't you? And that's why now we dial up. So we put this under all the refractions. No? Okay, put it above. So we got the con we got some of the condensation stood above it, which helps to mask it a bit. If we convert it to a smart object, we could add some noise. Oh, and also we need to add the reflections. Ah. Okay, this might help. Let's get that. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That worked perfectly. So, let me kind of explain. So, I had this black and white. So, I rendered out a black. Um, I took the surface imperfections, which I'm pretty sure I recorded, um, but changed it to black and then rendered that as a separate pass because I can then use these like shades of grey, uh, white and black, and use that as a reflectancy, like as uh, another layer for reflections. Just put it on a linear dodge, and that helps to just look like it has water streaks going down. Add some like fingerprints on there. So that helps to add to the realism a little bit. So that's cool. Um, and it also kind of gives it that misted feel, which helps to take away from how black that is. Um, maybe I should add some color over the top of it. Or if I duplicate this and let's just turn it down to like the tiniest amount. Like that. Cool. And then I'll paint on top of this with like a really dark shade of like brown. Like that. And It's a bit like normal. I'm thinking we maybe don't actually need that. But instead just pump some colour back into there. Cool. That's looking pretty good. Um, so the one thing that's been really bugging me, and it's going to require a bit of work, is this whole section up here. All like the reflections that are going on just do not look right whatsoever. So I want to kind of, I'm going to have to edit this and it's to do with the refractions. So it might be something we do at the end, but to be fair, we're pretty, pretty there. Um, I might paint some highlights in. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So. 
create a new folder with all these highlights. I'm constantly referring back to So create a new folder, a new f uh, layer, sorry, and I'm literally just going to brush down with white. And I fade that out. And then just drop there, bang it on like linear dodge add and then you just get like a really soft light at the edge there don't you which helps to blend it into the white background and then we do the same on the other side as well Change that to linear dodge add. Uh, I'm just going to erase this bottom bit there. There we go. Cool. Looks good. Decent. Um, let's see what else can we do? So we can. Do that, I don't need that. What do these lights? They're not really giving me too much to be fair. So I'm going to create a new layer, fill it with fifty percent grey, roughly. Um, fill that and then change that to overlay it's not going to do anything but it now allows me to use a dodge and burn tool so I can start to dodge certain areas uh, exposure, crank that up So I can start to drag this down here, brighten this area up a bit, really highlight that bit there, highlight that, start to brighten this bit as well. So you can see how much of a difference that's making already. Oh. Sweet. Um, and I can dodge that bit there at the top. And then when it comes to burning, burn down this inside. So starting to like see, start to add some more like interest there. If we put this on a black background and just mask that out, we don't even need the highlights then. Start to get you can completely change the look. It's quite nice on the black. And we've managed to capture this nice light at the bottom as well. So you can still tell there's a bit of a punt there as well, which is nice. Okay, cool. Um, something going on here. That's weird there. That is to do with the condensation, I know it is. Uh, oh, maybe not. Uh, 
Okay, it's that. So I'm going to mask that out quick. Because that looks strange. Okay, that's better. Cool. Turn that back on. Dodge and burn. Oh. I might actually create another layer as well, fill that with grey, and then this one I'm just going to use to uh, burn just to one side, so it's like a really dramatic like fade into black. So. Put a soft light on that. Maybe it's worth putting a soft light on this one as well. And I'll and I'll use a bigger brush just to soften that out a bit. And then I need to darken the left hand side off again. So, burn that. So, this is just helping to like shape the ball a bit. That's probably a bit much, to be fair. Let's drop that down a bit. Okay, cool. And that just phase that out a bit. Dodge, bend. Cool. Uh, again, I'll just put that on there. Sweet. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to group all those, duplicate it, convert it to a smart object. Um, and take the mask for that. Mm, what's happened there then? Let's duplicate it. And I just need to flatten the, it's just these to be fair. So, I'll keep an original just in case. So, I want to get rid of this black line here. So, I might be able to use content aware to be fair. We'll give it a go and see what happens. Make selection, edit, fill, content aware. Uh, kind of works, kind of works. We can fix it if we need to. Right. I might just use clone stamp for this. That seems to work quite well. Let's just do 
decrease the size of that. Yeah, cool. Right. Let's see, let's have a look at our reference photos. So that's like black. And what does this one look like? Yeah, that's just black as well. So we kind of need to clone stamp this stuff out as well. Cool. And what we'll do is I will paint in a really subtle like black dark black line. Like that. Change that to Soft light. Found like forty or something. There we go. Shift it up a little bit. Cool. That works. And then I want to take some of the black out of this bit of the glass as well. So we'll just do this. Cool. <clears throat> That's much better. So, if we compare that to Drag that in there. That's much better. Uh, I just want to look so we just need to match the light in a little bit, so it needs to darken off a bit of the edges. I'll change that to black. Uh, go like that. Go like that. There we go. Just like that. Fade the, the edges out a little bit. Got that ring there. Probably put that up to like 50 or 60. Cool. So yeah, if we compare, so that's like neck fix, I suppose. That's actually so much better. Look at that. Yeah, 100%. Cool. All right, happy with that. So we can put the cat back on now. Highlights, okay. Sweet. Yeah, much better. Cool, so this is looking pretty good. So we could actually now 
duplicate this, flip it horizontal, and how does it? How do people love it? So that actually. So, like that, this is going to be the shadow. <laughs> and we'll fade out, um, you take, no, keep that on, but we want to, um, where are the, I don't, when I painted all the, oh, we need the original one. Okay. So we call this shadow. Shadow, and I'm just going to reduce the, where I painted it in black. Actually, oh no, I think it looks kind of needs it actually. We could just reduce it maybe a tiny bit. Nah. I'll uh, keep it, leave it, leave it, leave it. I'm actually going to convert it to a smart object and then blur it a tiny bit. Oof, not that much. Actually, like one, and then add a like, ripple to it if I can. Stylize. Where's ripple, ripple? <laughs> Bit more than that. Distort, ripple. So let's so. We go, that's cool. Sweet, that is cool. Right, um, let's add some contrast. How is this a uh, white background then? Right, let's see with black for now. So this is main bottle, bottle fix, shadow, <coughs> main. And hold on, I'll edit fill this with white as well. Oh, did I just, just deleted all the actual stuff? Okay. That's quite nice. I'll do like 30% of that. That's quite nice.
That's a nice one just for softening up the colours a little bit. Okay, cool. So there's one in there that I don't like. That's fine. Okay, cool. So we got those. I'm going to take out the contrast. Just so the colours fade out a bit more. I don't know if the dodge and burn was a bit much and that's what's killing it a bit. Let's see it for now. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we got the contrast in levels. Yeah, that looks quite good. Let's look at the hue and saturation. So I feel like that this needs to be a bit more a yellowy a bit, almost. Cool. Decent. I think this looks quite good actually. Uh, let's add like a what am I looking for? A gradient zero on it. And this is gonna be like Warm blue. Just we got this softer I feel like these should be reversed. There we go. Cool. Right, so if we save that.
Right, and that's the transformation. So, the one on the right is obviously the original, straight out of cinema, and the one on the left is the finished version. Um, sweet. Right, I think that's everything then. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, um, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more videos like this or if there's any in particular you have in mind or any bits that maybe I skimmed past that didn't make sense drop it all down below uh, I really appreciate the feedback and I will catch you in the next one peace